Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm reviewing this product from this brand name Some By Me. This is their Real Sika 92% Cool Calming Soothing Gel. Price of this soothing gel is $20 and we get 300 ml product. This product is artificial fragrance free, alcohol free but this is not essential oil free. This has rosemary essential oil but it don't linger after literally like 15 seconds. You don't smell anything, it don't linger. I think they added rosemary essential oil in this for the for that cooling effect if you care about parabens and silicones this is paraben free and silicone free as well this is not fungal acne safe but it only have one fungal acne trigger sunflower seed oil you don't feel the presence of sunflower seed oil in this product because there is 92 percent centella in this and all the other ingredients are supporting ingredients so even if you have fungal acne i won't worry too much about sunflower seed oil because you don't feel the presence of it at all and if i'm not wrong some by me is not cruelty free this product has 92 percent centella extract centella is very soothing and very calming it helps with redness not only this has 92% centella extract but they also added four active compounds of centella those are very soothing and very calming as well all the other ingredients are supporting ingredients i won't focus too much on them but they are there this also has niacinamide niacinamide is great it's anti-aging it helps with redness it's brightening it helps with dark spots if your moisture barrier is disturbed niacinamide help with that this also has tea tree leaf water which is great if you have acne prone skin this also has three different weight of hyaluronic acid great humectants this also has adenosine a great anti-aging ingredient they also added sunflower seed oil in this but you don't feel its presence at all this literally feel like a oil free moisturizer agile cream you don't feel sunflower seed oils presence in this they also added AHA, BHA and PHA in it. I don't think I'm wrong but please correct me if I'm wrong. This has 0.001% salicylic acid or BHA. Salicylic acid is oil soluble. Not only it exfoliates the top layer of your skin but it exfoliates your pores from inside. It helps with sebaceous filaments, blackheads, acne bacteria. It's amazing. 0.001% salicylic acid. Even if you have really sensitive skin, I won't really bother. You can use this product. I don't think this product will be a problem for you. They also added 0.001% lactobionic acid in this or PHA. PHAs are a great option for sensitive skin. You want to use an exfoliating acid, go for PHAs because they are bigger in size. They don't irritate your skin like AHAs. So this has 0.001% lactobionic acid or PHA and this has 0.001% citric acid or AHA. It exfoliates the top layer of your skin. Percentage of these exfoliating acids, it's very low. Even if you have sensitive skin, I won't worry about using this product. I think you can use this product very easily. I'm still using my Isn't Tree 8% AHA Essence with this. I'm also using my Paula's Choice 2% BHA with this product without any issue. I use this product around my eyes. My neck is really sensitive. I use this product on my neck. For me, this is not really a exfoliating gel. I just use it because it's very soothing and very calming. And this has rosemary essential oil. Like I said, it don't linger. After like 15 seconds, you don't smell anything. So even if you have sensitive skin, I won't worry too much about rosemary essential oil. It's the last ingredient. And like I said, it don't linger at all. If you have sensitive skin, I think you will be fine using this product. Even though this has AHA, BHA and PHA and rosemary essential oil, I don't think this will be an issue. And this has 92% centella extract, which is very soothing and calming. So I think this product will be great for you. So let's talk about my experience with this product. It's been two weeks since I started using this product. When I purchased this, I thought this will be like, you know, those aloe vera gels. I thought this is centella gel. This is not going to lock the moisture in, but this actually locked the moisture in. And I'm so happy about that. 
I use this as my moisturizer. I always wanted a gel moisturizer that come in a big tub, 300 ml product, and I'm using this gel as a moisturizer. I'm so happy about that. I'm going to use this this whole summer. And this has 92% centella. This is very soothing and very calming. In my experience, this calmed down redness so fast. I use it after working out and this calmed down my redness so fast. And somebody me said that this also control excess sebum. Yes, this control excess sebum. This don't dry out my cheeks because my cheeks are dehydrated. This don't dry out my cheeks, but this control excess sebum on my T-zone. Not only you can use this product on your face, but you can use it on your body, your scalp, your hair. You can also use this product on your hair as a hair mask. This will make your hair really soft and very silky. Some by me also said this product exfoliate your skin because this has AHA, BHA and PHA. I'm using this product around my eyes. I'm also using it on my neck. My neck is really sensitive. I don't exfoliate my neck. I'm using this product there without any issue. So I won't rely on this for exfoliating benefits because 0.001% salicylic acid and 0.001% PHA and then 0.001% citric acid, they're not that much. So I won't rely on this for exfoliating benefits. But if you tried AHA, BHA and PHA and they didn't work for you, they were irritating. You can try this product. The percentage is very low. I don't think this will be an issue. I don't think this will make your skin more sensitive. Now let's talk about who can use this product as a moisturizer. If you live in a hot and humid country and you have oily skin or you have oily acne prone skin or if you have combination skin that is more on the oilier side, you can use this product as a moisturizer. This is your moisturizer. And this also has this cooling effect. It feels really nice on the skin, especially if you live in a hot and humid country. And if moisturizers make you sweat, try this product. This is not going to make you sweat. The cooling effect feels really nice. If you live in a colder country, if you have dry skin, combination skin, oily skin, you can use this as a serum under your moisturizer. This alone won't be enough for you if you live in a colder country. But yeah, if you live in a hot and humid country and you have oily skin or combination skin that is more on the oilier side, you can use this as a moisturizer. I'm using this as a moisturizer right now. It's working absolutely fine. This actually locked the moisture in and helped with trans epidermal water loss. Weather changed a lot here. It's not cold here anymore. It's not hot, but it's not cold here anymore. And I started using this. It's working absolutely fine for me. And the best part is because I live in a very hot and humid country. The best part is this is very hydrating, not very moisturizing because that's what I need in summer. I want something that is hydrating, but very less moisturizing. And this is very hydrating. So yeah, I am obsessed with this product. I will definitely repurchase this again. This is not like those aloe vera gels. They just disappear into your skin. Don't feel hydrating and don't feel moisturizing. This feels really hydrating and a little bit moisturizing. And it actually locked the moisture in and helped with trans water loss. My experience with this product was great. I will definitely repurchase this again. And I will highly recommend you to give this product a try, especially if you have oily skin and you live in a hot and humid country, I think you will really enjoy this. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.